GT Countdown. Top 10 Games of the Decade. While some may argue that the first decade of the new century doesn't actually end until next year, we've just sealed up a remarkable 10 years of gaming, and we at GT think it's time to honor the best of the block. While we took into account how well the following games have held up to the most recent releases, the most weight was placed in how they move the industry forward, serving as inspiration for games to follow. We had to sadly chop some incredible experiences to keep the list at 10, but it's hard to deny that the following games aren't absolute masterpieces of their time. Number 10. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Perhaps no other game this decade enjoyed as much anticipation as Twilight Princess. As the killer app that anchored the successful launch of Nintendo's Wii and the subsequent death of the GameCube, it utilized motion technology and changed the way players look at action-adventure controls. Twilight Princess also had all the hallmarks the franchise is known for, with clever dungeons, intense boss battles, dramatic music, a bittersweet story, a lengthy quest, and memorable new characters. It won numerous accolades for its efforts and reaffirmed Zelda's status as one of the most prestigious series in the industry. Number 9. Super Mario Galaxy. Yes! In earlier years, Mario defined platforming and 3D adventure, but Super Mario Galaxy delivered dimensions of gameplay we'd never considered. The gravity mechanics let us circle planetoids, run across ceilings, and test the limits of just how far we can jump into space before being attracted to a floating landmass. While the spacey setting was core to the game, it wasn't overbearing as many levels remained in familiar terrestrial environments or let you dive beneath the waves. Every part of the experience, from the interactive orchestral score to the refined controls, is immaculately polished making Super Mario Galaxy innovative platforming bliss. The planet-shaped levels made you consider gravity at every turn. Ah. Number 8. Devil May Cry. Let's rock, baby. Devil May Cry changed action games forever, with smooth, free-flowing combat with mechanical depth and showboating flash previously only seen in 2D fighting games. Over the course of the demon hunting, Dante had the chance to slay countless enemies and gigantic bosses with skill, creativity, and style. While this stylish, hard action label didn't stick, DMC laid down bold gameplay concepts that are still closely imitated nearly 10 years later. An iconic hero, challenging level of difficulty, and the potential for incredible acrobatic combos wrapped in a signature over-the-top heavy metal vibe made Devil May Cry an absolutely essential piece of gaming history. Number 7. Shadow of the Colossus. Standing on the shoulders of giants is no easy task. Toppling them is even harder. Shadow drew a stringent slash between the minimal and the mundane, filling the world with a tangible terrain of trees and ruins, not polygons and textures. The landscape was matched only by the grand, grotesque walking giants that bled black and hit hard. They soared, they swam, they shrank, and they spat. The Colossi are as unforgettable as a first kiss, giving up their secrets and their lives to a shimmer of sunlight refracting off cold steel. The Emotion Engine earned its name with these wanderings, making you wonder whether you were the good guy or the bad guy at the end of it all. Number 6. Half-Life 2. Dad, are you alright? Half-Life 2 is a landmark shooter whose impact is still felt today. The best shooters rely not on heavily produced cutscenes to tell their stories, but on riveted scripted sequences that play the story out all around you. And it was Half-Life 2 that paved the way for this. You can track the use of physics as a gameplay device to it as well, and though these elements seem commonplace today, it was difficult to not be astonished the first time you got to mess around with Half-Life 2's gravity gun. Beyond the way it's pioneered much of what we associate with the best of the genre, Half-Life 2 is a superbly crafted shooter whose experience still holds up. We remain in anticipation of the final episodic chapter. Is it really that time again? Number 5. Metroid Prime. Transitioning to 3D is a tough hurdle for any classic series, and Metroid was no exception with its lonely confined spaces, sprawling tunnels, and penchant for hidden passages. Metroid Prime put players inside the iconic armor of Samus Aran complete with environmental effects that steam up the visor or splatter bug guts in her face. It was all about exploring an interconnected labyrinth, gaining mobility with new power-ups, and using the unique Morph Ball ability to explore snake-like passages or climb the walls on magnetic tracks. It's one of the most carefully constructed action adventures of the decade, and more importantly, it delivered Metroid into the 3D realm better than anyone expected. 
Number four. Halo Combat Evolved. A heavy argument was had regarding whether the original Halo or Halo 3 should have made this list, but we erred on the side of the original because of what a pop culture phenomenon it was. Some games are must-haves when you get a new console. Halo was such a blockbuster, it made the original Xbox the necessary purchase. It embraced the legacy left behind by GoldenEye's four-player split-screen multiplayer, bringing vehicles into the mix, and allowed co-op for two players via split-screen. It definitely broke new ground and introduced a whole new generation of players to the first-person shooter. To the haters, its name is synonymous with Microsoft. To the rest of us, it's synonymous with quality. <laughs> Number three, Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 was one of those games that lived in purgatory for way too long. Short video segments were initially released showing a bad guy with a large pair of scissors and the patented tank controls the series was known for. And then Shinji Mikami decided to start all over, and boy we're glad he did. The result was a game that became one of the most imitated of the last 20 years with its over-the-shoulder blasting viewpoint and incredibly smart implementation of quick-time events. Slow, lumbering zombies were replaced with fleet-footed foes that ratcheted up the tension, while the story managed to be even more grim than a bunch of zombies shambling around a mansion. The game also bucked the trend with its impressive length, and after the story ended, the mercenaries mode ensured that the killing was long from over. Resident Evil 4 made a serious run at the number one spot, but ultimately settled at number three. Number two. Grand Theft Auto 3. Most developers shifting dimensions a decade ago faced numerous challenges beyond just changing the camera to 3D. But the way Rockstar handled their PS2 GTA created not just a new genre, but a new ideal. Here was a game whose only boundaries were your decrepit morals. Some people dove into the engrossing story with top-tier voice talent. Most didn't, when there were three islands to continually decimate with illegal weapons. GTA 3 had its gameplay hiccups with jumping and targeting, but the freedom made it hard to put down and turn off. Developers suddenly had to make living, breathing worlds instead of just games. There was no point A and B, you could do whatever, whenever, and video game content and design hasn't been the same since. Number 1 World of Warcraft The last nine games on this countdown merit recognition in their own special ways, but how can they even begin to compare to a worldwide phenomenon? World of Warcraft has more than leveled up our expectations of the MMO. It's also moonlighted as a product endorsement and pop culture fancy, a controversial headline on the news, and your roommate's dirty little secret lurking on his desktop. Few games have had such a lasting impact as this, and judging by its third expansion, Cataclysm, the series isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Love it or hate it, World of Warcraft inspired a modern legend sure to echo in the annals of video game history. It crossed the gender boundaries, opening up the hobby to the entire world, and even if you're a staunch critic, you have to appreciate what it's done to expand the medium to a brand new audience.